360. Yes. Views. It's the longest pedestrian and bicycle bridge in North America. Not what I would typically think to get or want for breakfast, but it was really good. Definitely some powerful words on these plaques. Welcome to Little Rock. We are on our way to Arkansas with Lily. We are going to be staying in Hot Springs and spending a day there and a day in Little Rock. On our way to our Airbnb in Hot Springs, we are stopping for dinner in Little Rock and we are eating at Lost 40 Brewing. We got the Arkansas cheese dip. It's a Arkansas, I'm, I'm cheating. It's an Arkansas style yellow cheese dip topped with jalapenos and a Rotel-ish, not Rotel, Rotel-ish, Southern green chili tomato salsa. You can get it with bacon. We did it, probably should have. Because bacon's better on everything. But, but we wanted to go original. Yeah. Big mistake, big, huge. That is really good. The, the Rotel-ish Southern Green Chili Tomato Mixture, whatever it is, is the perfect kit. We each got our own flight of beer. Us, that's the best way to get to try everything. So my four, I got the Easy Tiger Mexican Lager. And then I got the Lil Weezy, the Lil Weezy IPA, which has aromas of blueberry, bubble gum, and tangerine. Very interesting. Next is the raspberry, the Camp Taco Raspberry Bramble. And to finish it off, I, with one of my favorite TV shows growing up, the Camp Taco Salute Your Schwartz. Camp Bonawana, we hold you in our heart. And when we think about you, it makes me wanna. It's I hope we never part. Now get it right or pay the price. For my flight, I got I got two of the same that Clint has. I have the Lil Wheezy and the Raspberry Bramble, which he already talked about. The other two that I got were uh, were the Love Honey, which I believe is this one. It's a little darker. It is um, sweetened with Arkansas honey for a smooth, creamy complexity, and it's got notes of toasted bread and hints of caramel. So I thought that sounded interesting. And then I'm trying their double IPA, which is a, which is the Snake Party double IPA. And I just thought I would try double IPA because I don't drink a lot of them. So I thought that would be fun. I got the Smash Burger, and I added bacon. So we make the same mistake twice. Um, and then I, I think it comes with chips, but I got the waffle fries instead. I got the wings. It's the very first thing on the menu. And it says, it is nine of the best deep fried chicken wings you've ever tasted. And by the looks of them, I think they're right. It comes with their house made ranch. So you know it's awesome. Celery, and then it, this is a sweet and spicy Calabrian pickled peppers. I don't even know if I said that right. I've never heard of that. I don't know what it is, but I'm excited to try it. I got the Buffalo Whey Sauce. They have three different sauces. Sweet and spicy, which is on the lower end of spice. Buffalo Whey Sauce, and the Smoky Reaper, which I'm not here for, but you can, all sauces are available vegan. In fact, they have crispy cauliflower vegan wings, uh, which sound amazing. They also have, if you want, if you're here for pizza, they have gluten-free uh, crust for pizza. So a lot of different uh, options for any dietary restrictions, needs, requests, whatever it may be. They've got a pretty inclusive menu. I'm Sean Evans, and you're my guest. Mm, that is really good. It's, it is definitely 
Is little it, spicy. It's spicy. A little spicy, <laughs> but not too bad. It's a little bit spicy. We cut our video a little short here. You probably heard Lily in the background. She was a little restless after being in the car for a while. So we rushed through our meal so we could give her a little more attention. Overall, the wings were amazing. They were meaty, juicy, and the sauce was perfect. We are now continuing our drive to Hot Springs where we will wake up tomorrow and explore Hot Springs. So be sure to check out that video. And then the day after we are coming back to Little Rock to explore and of course eat. We are at Pinnacle Mountain State Park. We're at the base of Pinnacle Mountain right now. We're gonna do the West Summit Trail. It says it is about 0.8 miles to the summit, 1.6 miles round trip, about 700 feet of elevation. It's gonna be a short but strenuous climb. And the sign right before the trail starts talks a little bit about that. It's dog friendly. It is. As long as you have pets on a leash, yes. you can bring your dog. So it's gonna be interesting to see how Lily does uh, on the rocks and all that, but uh, I'm sure she'll be fine. Yeah, there is an East Summit Trail and a West Summit. We're doing the West Summit Trail. Um, at one point, there's an uh, the trail splits. It does meet back, but if you go right, I think it's a little bit more bolder uh, not quite scrambling, but and normally we a little would tougher. Normally we would do something like that if we didn't have Lily, but since we have Lily, yeah. we don't really feel comfortable, we're gonna and go, we have a camera. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go left at the split, but we do enjoy some scrambling. makes yes. me feel like a kid again, <laughs> um, but we're not going to put Lily through that. So It should probably take us uh, like 30, 40 minutes to get to the top. They, they, say, they say to plan for two hours round trip. Yeah. So. so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it is a nice morning. It's a little muggy. And they and the um, the park opens at 6:30, so you can't get here before 6:30. We're here about 7 a.m. Um, and it's another nice day, not too sunny yet. So and you can see this is the beginning of the trail, so it is very clearly marked. All right, well we're gonna get started. So there are benches throughout the trail in case you need to take a breather or a break. So we're pretty sure this is the split. I think there should be a sign right here. Go right. For the more tougher boulder path, go left for the easier curved path. Water break. And that's what I call high quality eight tools. Oh! We made it. We're big sweaty messes. But we made it. My, my shirt is a different color now. It yeah, is it's darker. Com completely soaked. But the views, as you can see behind us, are totally worth it. Yes. Um, it is. And it's 360. Yes. Views. Yes. And from you up could here. actually go a little further out, but since we have Lily, I just don't feel comfortable taking her all the way because then we got to take her all the way back. Yeah. But it's really awesome. Um, it's. The hike is very strenuous, yeah. especially the last. Uh, probably quarter, quarter yeah. or not mile but quarter yeah, of the trail yeah. it's pretty strenuous um, lots of stops along the way lots of water breaks for us and Lily
enjoyed the view up here for a little while, rested a bit, drank a lot of water, and now I think we're gonna start our trek back down, but just gonna enjoy one last view from up here. Lily is ready to go, so we're gonna get out of here. Now, we are going to head into Little Rock, but first, we have a quick stop at a big location. Now, you're probably saying, man, that's Big Damn Bridge behind you guys. And you'd be correct. That is Big Damn Bridge. And it is the longest pedestrian and bicycle bridge in North America. And it was actually made specifically for that purpose. Yeah, it's it's four hundred or sorry, four thousand two hundred and twenty-six feet across and it sits over Murray, Lock, and Dam. And it connects I think it connects 14 miles yes, of yeah. scenic riverside trails in Little Rock and North Little Rock. We are leaving Big Dam Bridge to continue following the Arkansas River Trail by car all the way downtown to visit Julius Breckling Riverfront Park. done eating lunch uh, or I guess breakfast um, but uh, we went to the Root Cafe. Came highly recommended uh, by several several people. Yeah and uh, the online reviews were really good and it was very eccentric. It was very very cool like they have a nice little patio with a bunch of like uh, older chairs, patio furniture. I don't know how to explain it but it was uh, really nice and I ended up really wanting breakfast because even though it was like 11 a.m. but I got uh, biscuits and gravy and eggs and it was really really good. Yeah and the staff was super nice. Um, they were all very helpful, very friendly. Um, the the menu uh, has a lot, if, if, if vegetarian, vegan, yeah. a lot of options um, there. I ended up getting the Root Benny. Um, I figured it's named after the restaurant. It's got to be good. It was ham, uh, poached egg with hollandaise sauce and greens. I think it was collard greens. Yeah, and it was so good. Um, not what I would typically think to get or want for breakfast, but it was really good. And then I got their classic lemonade, hand squeezed, fresh. You can see the pulp. Uh, in the lemonade it was so good so refreshing after that long hike this morning just a few like things about the root cafe so um when 
you get there, there's not a lot of parking, but there's plenty of street parking around. You shouldn't have any problems. It is dog friendly, which we love. Um, and you just go up and order at the counter. Um, and don't let the long line steer yes. you away because it really didn't take that long. Oh, shh. Come on. No, and um, the, the the counter's right inside the door. And next, we're gonna go to a pretty famous historical site here in Little Rock. All right, so after lunch, we came to Little Rock Central High School. It actually opened in 1927. And the reason it's famous is the Little Rock Nine. It's um, back when Brown versus Board of Education appro approved, was approved to desegregate schools. There were nine black students that that September of 1957 actually um, enrolled here and there was a lot of controversy. The governor um, sent the Army National Guard down in September to try to block them from entering and then that's when Dwight D. Eisenhower actually had to send down federal troops to like escort them inside. It yeah. was a whole it was a whole thing and but a fact that I didn't know is that um, eight of the nine actually came together and walked in together but the ninth Elizabeth Eggford didn't they didn't have a phone so there was no way to get a hold of her so she actually had to walk in alone and I just thought that like it was just kind of sad in a sense but also just something that I didn't know and just like an interesting fact about the, uh, the Little Rock Nine and uh, so and another thing which we didn't know until um, I looked it up because we were already here but there's actually a st there's actually nine statues of the nine children um, but it's not here at the high school, it's actually at the state capitol. So we're hoping to uh, drive over there and check that out um, before we leave. Here at the school, if you look around, you'll see 10 benches, nine of the students' names, and then the 10th bench is for all past, present, and future students. They keep this gas station here right next to the school. Gas is 22 and a half cents per gallon. Right now, it's July 2022, I would take four dollars and 22 and a half cents per gallon right now if I could find it. We are actually here on a Sunday and the visitor center is actually closed on Sundays. So just note that if you do want to come and go inside the visitor center, you'll have to come Monday through Saturday. We're here at the Arkansas State Capitol building. One of the uh, unique things about this building are the bronze doors to enter. If you walk around the statue of the Little Rock Nine, there are plaques on the ground that have a quote from each of the nine. If you do come here, I would definitely recommend walking around and reading each of the quotes. Definitely some powerful words on these plaques. back to Hot Springs, we have one more stop to make. We needed a little pick-me-up, so we stopped at River City Coffee. I got an iced chai latte because it just sounded good. It's really hot outside, so. And I got Nirvana, which was, I forget all that was in it. It was like chocolate, caramel, I don't know. It was, it's so good. I mean, you can it's, look at them. It, it's, it looks like it's a dessert <laughs> and it basically is, but it's really good. And hopefully it's the pick me up we need uh, for the trip back. The staff was really great. It's a little bitty coffee shop, with, like records and games. Yeah, it's kind of old school, yeah. They had like board games in there. It's not very big. Um, and as I was checking out, I saw the dog treats and she said, I just love any reason for a dog to come in and visit me. So I said, well, in that case, let me see if we can get someone to come see you. So Lily got to come in. As you can see, she's already taking a nap. Pretty sure she's going to fall asleep in <laughs> two minutes. Yeah. So Lily got to go in, say hi, get a treat. And, and I think now, I think she's about done for the day. And we're not far behind her. And that's why we got the coffee. That's going to end our time here in Little Rock. <laughs>